So, um, you need that necktie, um, which I just showed you guys what that looked like. And you also need two blue shirt. So, necktie goes underneath the collar. Um, like so. You have to un-Velcro and it goes underneath the collar. Um, like that. And you need two shirts. So, this was a shirt. Haha! -ha, that I had when I was enlisted. Um, I took the stripes off. And actually, it looks... I just got it out of dry cleaners. Um, just to see how it was going to look. And there's no stripe imprint. So, I saved... And it's a princess cut. So princess cut, when you guys um, get in, you'll see what I'm saying. But princess cut is basically this. So it's like a, it's a cut. And so when you wear your blues pants, you can wear your shirt out. If you did not have a princess cut shirt, you cannot wear your shirt out. You have to use the, um, the little straps. I have some, I got a blouse and, um, blouse and straps or something like that. And you hook those up to your bottom of your shirt and you... Um, time to your socks and it makes a shirt like it pulls it down so everything is straight and uniform but if you have a princess cut shirt you don't have to do that so I already had one um, I'm curious on if they're gonna let me wear it in cot I'll keep I'll do a video on that um, whatever issues I've had well I will or won't have when I go off the cot hopefully they won't you know say anything about this princess cut shirt um, and then when I went down to base I actually bought another shirt um another princess cut shirt so honestly i hope they let me wear them if not i think i can use my blouse and straps to tuck this shirt in as well because when you wear your um when you wear your service coat i believe your shirt may or may not have to be tucked in but to me i like to have mine tucked in tucked in because it keeps it flat underneath my service coat so you can still use your blouse and straps with this shirt but this gives you the princess cut it I think it was like almost $27, $30. Um, a little bit more expensive than the regular blue shirts, but it gives you that option if you want to keep it, you know, keep your shirt out or not. So, you know, so that's the shirt and the necktie. So I'm gonna put this necktie in there with my belt, okay? I'm gonna hang the shirt back up. Okay, next you guys, you need two pair of pants. Um, I got my stuff already um, dry clean, so um, I just took the plastic off for you guys to see it. But these are the blue pants. So I have one pair of pants. And that is my skirt. And then you have another pair of pants. So these are some pants I already had. So I didn't have to buy them. So that was good. Okay, and you're also you're also gonna need um, a lightweight blue jack blues jacket, which this is what this looks like right here. And I took my stripes. This was actually, uh oh, honestly, you see this? So I'm glad I'm doing this video because I don't know if you guys can see the stripe imprint right there. That's not gonna work. I don't think that's gonna work for cot. And honestly, um, this may or may not have been my honor guard. Um, blues jackets I'm not sure so honestly if you see that your girl needs to buy another jacket and that sucks it sucks when you have the uniforms but you can't use them because they're like they have this indention in there so either I can take it back to the dry cleaners and ask them to you know see if they can redo it and see if they can they can iron that down which sometimes they can they can iron this down or I may have to get another jacket, but this is the lightweight jacket. And like I said, let me show you guys this imprint again. For all those enlisted that are going officer, um, this is the problem you may run into with trying to savage your uniforms. Aha. Uh -huh. You guys see that? I think this is when I was a senior airman. So there's my three stripes right there. Um, but it's not supposed to, you're supposed to wear your rank up here. But, you know, so that's that. So I will keep this jacket out just in case. All right. All right, you guys, so um, next you're gonna need a belt. This is a belt right here. Um, my old belt didn't really fit, so I had to buy a new belt. Um, so I'm putting that in here. Okay, next is saying you're gonna need about, um, how many socks, black socks. You're gonna need three pair of black socks. 
Um, like I said, I already had the sock. So technically, I haven't. It seemed like I saved a lot, but honestly, um, I'll give you guys like my review about packing and everything and expenses because it was a little expensive. But I already have like black socks, but I also bought. Um, honestly, I probably would take those other black socks back because I didn't need them. But you know, just going into the store, I just kind of got everything that was on the list. So black socks, three pairs, all you need. So I'm gonna take these other ones back. I'm gonna put those over here with my other stuff my other socks and stuff okay so next is saying you're gonna need the US insignia so my other um, my listed insignia well the ins ins US insignia is different for officers compared to um, enlisted so the enlisted insignia it looks like this but it has a circle around it this is the officer insignia that you have to put that you wear on your blues coat and you need two because they you know they go they go on your uniform so you need a pair do not get the ones with the circle because the ones with the circle um are not the right ones those are those are the enlisted ones so you have to get these these are the correct ones to get okay you guys all right so next for your blues um also have ribbons for some people that have not been into the been into service um you may not have any ribbons, but for me, um, I have ribbons. So this is my ribbon rack. And then you go on the virtual MPF to make sure that it looks good. And I got two just because, you know, you go ahead and like line your shirt up. You guys, some of you guys know what I'm talking about. You go ahead and get that shirt pre-made, you know, put the stuff on there, measure it out. So I got two for two shirts. All right. And um, you're also going to need your insignia. So your badge. This is my badge. This is a nursing badge. It looks very similar to the medic badge, um, but, and so I'm going to show you guys. So this was my medic badge. Look, it looks very similar, doesn't it? And this is my nursing badge. Very similar, but two different things. And I know that um, when I was enlisted, when I was shopping for badges, I almost got this badge. You have to make sure when you go into the clothing store, either A, ask them for your your badge like tell them hey I'm a medic or hey I'm a nurse or hey I'm a pharmacist or whatever you know just tell them and they'll help you or just read the label and they'll tell you like AF specialty is insignia nursing um, badge so but I will wear both so on my blue shirt just like you saw on my ABU so I will wear my medic badge at the bottom because that was my first job and then I have my nurse badge up top so just want to show you guys that you will also need name tags um, I have to find the rest of mine. Like I said, I'm in the process of moving, getting ready for COT, so I have to find all of mine, but this is one of them. Um, this is my name tag right here. And this is one of the special looking ones. This has like the clear coat over it, like a little bubble. You don't have to get that, but this is one that I had, I never used when I was back in my old base. So I was like, yeah, I have it. So I have this one. And then you need a silver one for your, um, for your service coat, which I will show you guys the service coat and tell you my tricks and tips for that in a second. All right. And this right here, these little medals right here are for your mess dress. And so these are all your medals that, you know, you will get one day, hopefully, or you may already have them. I don't know. But you put them on your, your mess dress. It, it hangs like that. So that's pretty cool. All right. Also, for your blues item, you're going to need shirt garners. Um, I could have sworn I bought some shirt gardeners, but I also took a lot of stuff back. Shirt gardeners, like I explained to you before with the princess cut, um, they're just, they're just like black spin, um, um, suspenders, but they don't go up here. They connect to the bottom of your shirt, like right here. And from the bottom of your shirt to the top of your black socks and they pull your shirt down and it's flat. And I have to actually go get some of those. So I'm happy I'm doing this video because I'm going through myself and making sure I have everything as I repack. So yeah, if you need one pair of shirt gardeners, which I need to go and get. And some of this stuff you can also get when you're at COT from what I'm hearing. They'll give you time. So as long as I have my major items, I may not even really worry about the small stuff because I think we get time to go to the um, clothing store and BX. So that's awesome. Also, for your blues, um, you're going to need rank. And so this rank of course goes on your shoulders and I have a couple you know some rank was given to me when I actually got into NECP so thank you guys it's coming in handy saving me some money and you're gonna need this rank for you know 
when you wear your um, service coat, you have to put your rank here and on your hat. So you actually need one and a half package, packages of, the, of these. And then um, some people ask what's the difference between subdued rank um, and like the shiny rank. This is a shiny rank and this is subdued. Subdued is the rank that you will wear on your ABUs, which is so your ABU, it's ABU hat, right? This is a subdued. So if you didn't get time to go and get your uniforms, um, I guess with the with the regular rank on there, you will wear this rank on your hat and on your, you know, on your collar. You will not wear this rank on your hat. You do not wear this rank on your hat. You wear this rank on your blues. And when you wear your blues hat, dun, 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 this hat, you will wear your rank here. Shiny blues, okay? Not so shiny, subdued. That's that one, that one, okay? So, and this is the rank that you will see. And I know some army bases don't sell Vanguard, but some Air Force bases, most Air Force bases do. But any rank that looks like this, this is what you wear in your ABUs, okay? If you don't get time to put that on there, you put this on there. All right, so that wraps it up. Um, so, oh, yeah, sorry, no, it doesn't. Blue shoes, yeah. I've had these shoes since, no, not since basic. I got actually another pair of shoes um, from my other base, so blue shoes. These will go with my boots. You only need one pair of those, perfect. Um, yeah, so that wraps it up for the blue uniform, but I'm gonna, well, actually it doesn't. Let me give you guys a quick look at my service coat. Alright you guys, so I just wanted to show you what my service coat looks like. So this was actually, aha, uh -huh, tricks and tips when converting your enlisted jacket over to your officer jacket. This was my enlisted jacket. Um, so it's just a regular blue jacket, okay? So when it was my enlisted jacket, um, it did not have this blue braid right here. Only officer jackets have this. And it did not have these this little flap and these buttons did not have that. So what I decided to do, because in the store, this jacket costs 150, $150 that I did not want to spend for a jacket I already had. So what I decided to do was um, go on this site. I will put the information down below, um, but basically someone gave me a little tip like, hey, you know, if you have time, just convert your enlisted jacket. And I was like, okay. So I looked it up. It came for 30 bucks. It came with these and the button and it came with this so all you got to do is go get your jacket um, and take it down to your um, clothing store and they charge me $30 to, so it costs $30 to get this stuff from the internet because they don't sell them in clothing stores and it costs $30 to put this on so granted the lady already gave me these already had paid for these so technically I didn't need the blue stripes but she still charged me $30 to put these on. So this is where your rank will go. Um, so remember I was telling you about that shiny rank. That shiny rank will go right here. We'll go right here. So that is my now used to be enlisted jacket, which if you see from the shoulders, unlike that other blue jacket that I showed you guys, my lightweight jacket, this jacket actually looks pretty good. Um, pretty darn good you can't really see the you can't see at all like any of where the stripes were so that's perfect so yeah uh yeah so that's that that's my jacket so you need one of those okay y'all let me give you the rundown on this mess dress okay this is a mess dress so this is a mess dress jacket it's like a crop top jacket almost. <laughs> it's almost like a crop top jacket, um, but it fits like this. Um, and honestly, let me give you the rundown on this. If you ever meet anybody as thrifty as me when it comes to like buying stuff that I kind of sort of don't really want to spend a lot of money on, here I am. I got this uniform, and it also comes with a skirt, which I will show. I got this uniform um, from the Airman's Attic, actually. Every base, well, I'm not gonna say every base, but most bases should have an Airman's Attic or a thrift store. And um, 
I think if you're under staff sergeant, you can go in there and get stuff for free. Um, this jacket was free and that skirt that I'm about to show you was probably 12 bucks at the um, thrift store right next door. And when I bought it, it looked exactly like this. Seeing that I wasn't in, I wasn't an officer, I had to get this off and um, that was about it. And I had to take these little, um, these little loops off. Well, a few years later, here I am. Now I have to get it back on. And I had to get these loops on and they charged me for that. I'm not sure how much, but they charge, they kind of charge you for everything. So this is your mess dress. Um, that, from what I know, um, since you, there's a shortage in uniforms going on right now, everybody um some people have been saying like when you go to cot that they may not require you to have your mess dress your mess dress is going to be used for graduation from what i've been told so um a lot i know some people if you have one good if you don't then it's okay you can just wear your blues um which is good too but since i have a mess dress i'm going to wear it and i'm going to show you guys that sh uh, skirt give me one second Okay, so this is the mess dress skirt. It's very long. It's very, very long. And so you will put this little thing around your waist area um, and that jacket and then a white shirt. Okay. Okay. And this is the white shirt that you would wear. And speaking of jackets, I want to take this jacket back out. This rank was $49. Like, oh my gosh. This goes on your, your mess dress. It goes up here. So that's what those hooks are for. It goes up here. $49, y'all. Like, I was like, oh my gosh. You know? Okay. But here. And you also these buttons um right here well, one just fell um they go on your buttons on your shirt so if i'm not doing a really good job at showing you guys i do apologize but it's a lot of stuff in my hand right now those buttons go on your shirt yeah All right, you guys so this is what you this is the type of neck tab you will wear with your mess dress um i'm gonna show you the difference the difference this is a normal one you will wear with your service dress i need to wipe that off i think it's something on there um but you see how if the camera is acting right there's a difference um this is like a silk one this is a mess dress formal wear this is your service uh, jacket you see that one has like the little gritty lines or whatever and that's smooth so you need this if you have your service um your formal wear um and also if you don't have um, a mess dress you will still wear this white tag um you will wear your service coat and you will wear you'll wear a white shirt it's just a white shirt that looks just like the blue shirt it's a little princess cut white shirt and you also wear this underneath and um with a skirt or i guess they can wear pants i'm not sure but i just know if you don't have a mess dress you'll wear this white shirt with your service coat underneath um if it's formal if you ever hear formal wear um for like a retirement or just formal wear for a war ceremony or whatever you will wear your um mess dress which is that short jacket um this long skirt and then that shirt that i showed you that had the little um silver studs and your rank and then if you don't have that you'll wear the white shirt with your service coat this neck tab and then you know so that's that shoes wise okay put this down okay so for shoes um like i said you have these black ones right here or you also have heels now these heels um there's regulations on the height and width. They can't be like stilettos or, you know, skinny or really tall. There's regs on that. Um, but I kind of, I got these from like Payless. You can, as long as they're black and they're patent leather and they're shiny, you know, you can usually, I wear, I would wear this with my mess dress or with, um, 
you know, my blues if I had if I didn't have a mesh dress or if I was wearing my skirt, I would wear heels. Like I said, I'm going to cot, so which is training. I don't know if they're gonna allow me to wear heels, but um when you get into the operational air force, you are allowed instead of wearing these bulky shoes, you know, with a skirt or with your pants, if you want to spruce it up a little bit, you can wear your little heels. Also, when I was in a clinic, I was able to wear flats. Don't think I'm gonna be able to wear the flats and cot, but I'm just giving you a side note. Okay, so um also garnish scraps i wanted to show you guys i actually did find my garnish scraps and i'm gonna open them just for you um and that's what they look like they're just like like i said they hook to your shirt and your socks and um you know you just hook it to your this goes to the top of your shirt like this and then this stretches all the way down to your um to your socks so of course it's going to be a little uncomfortable um but it makes everything looks neat so just want to show you that so luckily i don't have to buy garnish scraps i have those all right and we're gonna move on to something else